This is Laura GB. Welcome to day 10 of my 12 days of components. Today we're going to show a new improved version of our star rating so that we can show part stars using some of the skills we learned yesterday on clipped paths. Here we are in the app from yesterday with, um, I will confess, a minor addition. The extra heart there filling up from the bottom is an extra piece of code um, that I have put on my blog post. So go and have a look there. So let's press play. And as we can see, when we drag this across, up it goes. You can see the percentage going up. But if you look, my stars don't actually change until I get to a whole star. I want to be able to show two and a half stars when it's at 50%. So that's what we're going to be doing. So let's close down the preview and let's move over to components. I'm going to take day eight star rating and we're going to into there. We're going to duplicate it. And can I drag those down? Nope, I can't drag those down. I can move it down though. Let's move it down because I want it to be moved down to underneath my hearts. And let's just quickly rename it to be day 10 star rating improved. So if you remember in our gallery here, we had some images which had this SVG code in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some quick changes in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to, because we've got to draw two stars, just like we drew two hearts, I'm going to add a new variable into the width. And that's going to be my star SVG which is going to be equal to, and we're going to go for taking out the fill from here. That is just a plain, simple star. So let's copy that. Open up some quotes to put it in. And there we go. And outside those quotes, if I put in a comma, that should sort that part out. OK, so instead of this path here, we're going to put in a G and exactly the same as we did yesterday. We're going to go for filling it with light grey. Close a string ampersand and we're going to go for our star SVG ampersand open the quotes, close off the G. Okay, so that should give me five grey stars. Take that line and copy it. Let's fix the tabbing and let's put in gold. So now I should have five gold stars. So now we're going to define a clip. So we also don't need this, this star color anymore. OK. But what we do need is our clip width. OK. So this is going to be 100 times. Now, we need to find out the score okay so we're going to put into here day 10 star rating improved dot score and because we're moving in along the different stars what we do is we minus from that the this item dot value okay so that we're comparing it so that when it gets to the one that's a part value, it should work. OK, so now we're going to put in our clip path. Now, I'm not going to make you watch me type it. I am going to copy it and paste it in. I 
So there we are. I've got a definition of clip path. It's called star clip. At naught naught. Height height 100 and width is the clip width okay and so then we are going to apply that to here clip path equals url into there and so open brackets close brackets and then we put in hash star clip so if i minimize that down Let's go and have a look at what the current score is. The score is three. Now that's bizarre. It's only showing two. Let's just see if we've got the part right there. So let's put in 3.5. And there you are. It's showing 2.5. Okay. So let's take this down to one. Yep, that doesn't work. Let's take that down to Let's take that to two and it shows one star. So we need a correction. So let's go back into here. Drop that down. My clip width. So where I've got this score minus that value, let's just add on the plus one. Okay. So there we are. It now shows two. Let's go back to here onto my score and make it 2.5. And there we are, it's showing it halfway along. So that's good, that's done. Let's go back into my screens. So from the insert menu, we're going to go to custom and we're going to have to scroll down. We've got so many components now. And let's put in day 10 and let's line it up with the other one. Okay. And let's just quickly change the score. So, actually, we're going to rename it first because that will make it slightly easier to refer to. So, let's call it stars2. And up into here, I'm going to put in stars2 dot max score times my slider score um, divided by 100. Okay. So... Let's press play and there we are. We can drag this and as you can see, there you go. Along with our hearts, that bottom range of stars is showing part stars. So there we are. We can go to our 70% and we get three and a half stars. That is our new improved stars. If you haven't already, please press subscribe. Take care now.